when we talk about reading these days, we need to talk about reading not just as reading with a book and reading with our eyes, but that there's lots of formats for reading. And audio reading, being able to listen to audio books, being able to listen to podcasts, has to be recognized as a valid way of getting to content. Um, as adults, I know I listen to podcasts and books on my commute every single day, um, and I'm getting exposed to literature um, that I wouldn't have time to get to um, any other way. And so we need to make that as valid for kids um, as it is for adults. So being able to use audiobooks and podcasts um, as a way of accessing um, that grade level content or higher, more rigorous um, content um, is critical. There's a lot of fabulous resources out there for audiobooks. We can look at commercial sites like Audible, um, where you can pretty much get any book um, that's available uh, as an audiobook where it's narrated. Um, that's also a big piece of the engagement. Sometimes we need to look at, when we look at text to speech, um, that doesn't have the same um, doesn't have the same intonation to it that a recorded audiobook has with narration, and that really adds meaning um, to the text for, for many students. Um, so there's sites like Audible, but there's also tools like uh, Learning Ally and Bookshare that have audiobooks, and then um, free and accessible resources for anybody to use. Um, like the Maryland Digital um, Library Consortium. And that's in the state of Maryland, where if you have um, access to a library card from any county in Maryland, you have access to thousands upon thousands of um, audiobooks, but every state has um, a version of that that's available. And again, those are free um, without, uh, you know, it's a lending library situation, just like you get to check out a book. Going physically into it, you get to check out that book for 21 days or however long it is um, through that um, through that online resource. I know sometimes you know there's this oh our library's dead now we you know with the ease of being able to get you know a book on your Kindle or um, um, uh, you know uh, being able to to get that content um, online, but they're not dead and. Um, so, you know, public libraries still have a really huge role in um, what parents can get. And there's everything on there from picture books um, to, um, you know, classic texts. And it's all there with a, with a library card. All you have to do is enter that library card in and you've got access to it. For more information about effective assistive and instructional technology, please visit ctdinstitute.org. Funding for this video is provided by the Center on Technology and Disability through a grant from the United States Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs.